A quantum leap is the experience of space in order to collapse time that it takes to get to your destination. Here at the Mystic and the Magician podcast, we are going to teach you how to do that, the best ways to do it, and the most fulfilling results that you could experience. Hi, and welcome back to the Mystic and the Magician podcast. I'm your host, Cassandra, and my co-host, Spring, is here. And today we're going to be talking about um, crystals, specifically Moldavite. So Moldavite went viral on TikTok for being like the (laughs) alien crystal from outer space. And I love this because for me, I had a crystal like this already before this became popular. And my crystal like this was opal. And opal did for me what Moldavite does for people. Moldavite I've found is less... um, Well, for me at this point, it's less chaotic, but it also um, depends from what I hear on the state that you're in when you get it. So like opal for me was very chaotic because I was in a big state of resistance when I first started using it. And so what happens is it like swoops in like a tornado and uproots all the shit that you're (laughs) holding on to that you don't need to hold on to anymore so like let's say for instance you hate your job or you have been holding on to this friendship that's been super problematic for 10 years but you're just holding on to it like something will happen to make it end yeah well it, and it's like immediate like they they always tell you if you're a rookie don't get a mold of <laughs> And I went into a crystal shop because I had never seen Moldavite. And I was asking her, I was like, I want to see one. And she pulls it out of like, she had it in this locked case. And it was inside a box that was locked (laughs) inside of a locked case. And she pulls it out. We had to like go through these things to look at it. And it was a teeny tiny itty bitty little chunk. And she wanted like almost $200 for it. And Mine, mine was like the size of a, I'd say the size of a quarter. Yeah, there, but it's, there's a lot of fakes. So you really have to be careful. Um, this lady was telling me with well, this gem dealer, she was saying that um, it's gotten so popular that the fakes just flooded the market. This is true. And it's so hard to tell by touch. Like you have to tell by texture because it doesn't feel like a rock. It's a glass, it's a glass that was created by the heat from like a meteor or whatever hitting earth at some point in time. And the cool thing, the cool thing about what I'm experiencing now with it. So I bought this twice in the last year. And the first time I bought it, I actually, my, I, I was also, I'm doing the apprentice shaman thing. So I'm pairing it with like shadow work, if you will. So (laughs) it's really, it's kind of cool when you pair it with shadow work because you have a lot of more mental breakthroughs and you're willing to make the changes that it brings about. But like with, with Opal, for instance, which does very similar things. And you had heard a myth about Opal or a legend about Opal about it being like bad, right? Yeah, um when I grew up with an Apache, he had lived on the Indian reservation when he was younger. And then, um, yeah, so he told me that if Opal is not your birthstone, that it's considered bad luck, according to the Apaches. So I was touching it. So I was like, that's not the birthstone. <laughs> I'm not touching it. <laughs> now, now that we're like educated on what the vibration that they bring, it makes sense that people would think it was bad luck because a lot of the stuff when you're not pairing it with the shadow work or the, or any work at all, right? Like if you're just like half, half into the practices of spirituality and you just buy the stones, then it could seem like bad luck because it feels like you're losing everything. Right. Like, you're like, oh my God, like, why do all these bad things keep happening to me, right? But really what it's doing is it's clearing out the shit that's not meant for you, like the shit that's not aligned with you or where you're going. Right. And see, my son and his girlfriend, they've been together for several years, but they started when they first moved in together in their own house, chaos hit. Like, it was a nightmare. They couldn't get along. They were constantly fighting. They kept trying to break up, but yet they were into a lease together. So they were stuck in the house together. And so I gave them an opal 
and I sent them home with them. It was a little opal elephant that you had given me. I sent that to him. <laughs> so I said, Take this home with you because he loves little stone animals. And so he took it home. They had massive chaos and now they're doing really, really well. They worked out all their stuff because it isn't to destroy everything like my friend made me think. It was to put everything in alignment for you as the right. way it's meant to be. We'll divide but, that, but you fun. did that but you did that knowing it could go either way it could go like either if way. they were meant to break up they would have broken up it doesn't yep. mean it's gonna fix your relationship right, right. because if you're not if you're not meant to then it's gonna happen it's gonna end right. and um i i really i love this and i love these students so much both of them because they do really similar things but i think it's really awesome i have a story about it too I was talking to this guy um, before Kevin, before me and Kevin got together. And this was like, this was like the mid beginning of my spiritual journey <laughs> where I was still watching Kyle Cease videos at home and doing like self-coaching. And um, I was talking to this guy who was really, really into the Christian church, but the church that he went to was really, really... Um, it was one of those churches that had like homophobic preachings and like things like that. It was, I don't know, it was weird. And he was trying to get me into it. And he was actually in Bible college to become like a pastor, but he was staying with me because him and his girlfriend broke up and, you know, like we were sleeping together and I put one under his pillow on his side of the bed. I put the, op the opal elephant, the one that I <laughs> sent you. The same one. <laughs> He's like a relationship guru. <laughs> <laughs> I love that opal elephant. So the same one that I sent you, I put under his pillow and within a week, within a week, okay, he moved out, moved in with people from the Bible college. Like I, I haven't talked to him since. I don't know what the fuck he's up to, but he like fully dedicated himself to the path of God. Like with like the next day he was like, I can't sleep here anymore because of like Christian stuff or whatever. He was sleeping on the floor for the last couple of days that he was at my house because <laughs> was like I can't be in bed with you. And I, you know, I respect people's religious beliefs, whatever. But what I didn't like about that situation was that I felt really judged mm. you know because it's like you're sleeping next to me but judging me like right. you know what I mean but um but yeah that elephant like within a week he was gone never to be seen or heard from again <laughs> like and Jordan and Justin they broke up they broke up he moved back home and then I told him I was like well you know that I, I sent that elephant there to put you on the right track so whatever you guys are meant to be will happen. He left and he's like, I got to go get that thing because if she finds out, she's going to break him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's like trying to protect the elephant from his creepy girlfriend. Dude, that elephant has done a lot of things. I am right now looking, I'm going to order some relationship elephants <laughs> for the sides. <laughs> I'm going to get us some opalite elephants for our shop. <laughs> Dude, that elephant, that elephant has seen a lot of things. Like, and I send him to you. It's like, I do this thing where like, I find like a really cool thing and I use it and I have these stories about it and what it's done for my life. And then I send it, I pay it forward. I'm like, okay, this is your turn. You didn't want the elephant. No, I didn't want to mess with Opal. Like, Cause like I said, um, Gilbert had told me that it was um, not, not good. If it's not yours, don't use it. And so I was afraid of messing with Opal after that and he we grew up together so he taught me like so many interesting apache legends and i fully respected everything he's ever said so there was like no way i was going to mess with opal but here i am right now with pink opal on my desk <laughs> <laughs> so when so you know what you're doing and knowing understand how it works it's not bad luck it is just literally aligning you in hyperdrive yeah yeah and like this time with Moldavite, so Moldavite is a bit stronger. Like, so I didn't think there was much stronger than Opal, but there is. So, 
so Moldavite is stronger, but Opal is more subtle and Opalite is even more subtle. Like Opalite and Pink Opal are both like very, very subtle. Like things are going to shift gradually, but you need to be cool with shedding. Like you can't be gripping things. You can't be scared. You can't be like, oh my God, what's going to happen if I don't have this? You have to be like, okay, like I have to be ready. But, but the Pink Opal and the Opalite are more subtle. They're not like crazy, crazy. The Opal is more... And if you have opal jewelry, you can use this, like raw, real opal, like precious yeah. opal jewelry, you can use that as well. Um, that's more strong. And then the Moldavite is super strong. The Moldavite brings like, I was having like metaphysical experiences when it was in my mailbox. Yeah. Yeah. So that's- I had some really strong metaphysical experiences when it was just in my mailbox. Um. If you put it under your pillow, the Moldavite can make you have dreams, which is really cool because dreams can be super telling. They can also make you more comfortable with the changes that it's going to bring. So it's stronger and it works faster, but with the paired with the, all the shadow work that I've done with the Moldavite this time, I feel less afraid of losing things and more at peace with it, like more excited for what what it's opening you know what I mean I'm excited to lose Uh, because I know that something awesome is coming that that's true yeah that's why I wasn't afraid of the opal this morning when I was like you know I'm really working on self-care we have a new um program that we just launched uh the 30 days the 30 day challenge that we just launched and I'm really I just signed up with um, a fitness program. So I'm really working on my self-care. So I've got my opal out. Um, I needed self-care. And the only other crystal I had was um, a crystal penis. Thank you, Cassandra. You're welcome. It's the only rose quartz I have, though, is this rose quartz penis. So we'll see how that goes. (laughs) If you would like a bag of crystal dicks, they're in the fertility box. (laughs) (laughs) Right. Right. Um, but, but the cool thing about the crystal penis though, and using that is that it's about birthing something new. So it's birthing something new and it's got the masculine energy. So it's all about doing it, yeah. doing it to birth something new. I've got the pink opal for change. Um, I'm trying to, I haven't remembered yet what my kunite was for, but I've got to look that back up. I love the colors in that though. It's like a mermaid. So beautiful. It's really pretty. It's like a, it's a pastel mermaid. And then, you know, I got my Yoda out or my Buddha out. We can call him Yoda. It's fine. Yoda, my Buddha. So I've got that stuff set up for my, my stuff this morning for my self-care. Yeah, I'm starting early as well. So what we're doing is we're doing a 30-day, 30 30-day 30 total transformation. So it's a spiritual cleanse of mind, body, soul. It's taking place completely in a group chat on Facebook, which is cool. It's only $15 to sign up. And we're going to be doing like accountability, um, nutrition to get out like the processed foods and the dyes that put you in a brain fog. I'm already feeling better and we haven't even begun yet. Like the chat has started, but we start on April 1st. So we're in like pre-cleanse mode. We're in like stop eating shit, but, um, we're also going to be doing manifestation techniques and all of these things for 30 days in the chat with these amazing people and support goes a long way man like I was thinking about that and I know how to eat right I know how to do it I've lost 70 pounds before I know how to do the daily practices and meditate every day and channel and journal and you know really do self-analysis I know how to do all that but you know what makes it so much easier is when you're doing it with people who are doing it too yeah like Every it's, time it's three loves company. So <laughs> trying to get used to something that's hard. And, you know, when it's all about your ball by yourself, it's really hard to stick with it. But when you have other people cheering you on, you know, it's, it does, it makes it so much easier. So yeah, I'm so and, excited. Yeah. And I've, I looked back and I, who was I talking to about this? Nicole, like I was talking to Nicole about this and I've looked back and every single time that I've like consistently stuck to like a nutrition plan and daily meditation and intention setting and manifesting every single time that I've lost weight and been happy for extended periods of time and had like the ultimate best, like inner peace was when I was consistent with a group of people doing it too. It wasn't even about me, the 
the tools, the motivation, it was the support. Yeah. So really what it is, is $15 for 30 days of support, which is like crazy awesome. Like right. I spent $15 at 7-Eleven. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. right. Yeah. No, this is exciting because um, I just paid, you know, like $99 look for the support. And so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. And things like that. Um, they cost more money and it's like, it's really, and it's cool because you, you're with people doing it too. And I'm hoping like, because I'm, I'm on what, like day three of having Moldavite again. Oh, another thing about Moldavite is that it disappears when it's done with you. That's something we didn't mention. That is something, yeah, that, that. But most crystals will do that. Some will break. Like I know you have a, you had amethyst literally jump out of your pocket. Yeah. So when yep. it, when crystals are done with you and you, they've served their purpose, they, they have leave. one that I completely lost and amethyst I completely lost. The other night, my serpentine jumped off my, my desk and it's gone. I can't find it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like they do really that. do leave. I had in I think it was like in October August September October I bought a Moldavite ring when it became really popular and it's gone I cannot find this ring anywhere and I have all my crystal jewelry in one spot and this shit is gone I also had (laughs) this is a total side note but I know this shit happens like when you're super spiritual and you're connecting to like beings and spirit like all of these things shit just like goes I had a coffee bleep into oblivion. This coffee cup has never been seen since. (laughs) This is crazy. Like I literally put, I know exactly where I put it. I was gone for 10 minutes. I came back. I searched the house high and low. My coffee disappeared. And I think this was the other day. So I think it's because I was supposed to be doing this cleanse. (laughs) (laughs) We ended up doing, they were like, fuck you don't need coffee. And I'm like, I don't know if you want to start without coffee today, spirit. Funny. (laughs) Oh my gosh. But yeah, it just it disappears. It disappears. The crystals disappear. Mm-hmm. And um our crystal dealer Nicole said they can come back when they're ready to serve you again too. They can pop back up. I haven't had that happen yet. I think I have too much energy. They're like, no, we're not coming back. And if you are looking for Moldavite and you are looking for a reputable dealer, um, Mystic Jades, our Chris, our personal crystal dealer, she has a very good selection right now. And she makes sure that her stuff is legit. So yeah, she ordered directly from the mine. Yeah, um, that mines the moldavite, which it, yeah. it can only be found in like Czech, Czech, the Republic. Czech Republic. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's where that's where with the meteor and the largest deposit is um, in the Czech Republic right now. I know where a meteor is here in Virginia, and it's in the water. And I'm wondering if I can get a diver to go down. <laughs> That would be cool. Right? I'll be like, look, I know where this is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a couple of different meteors that have hit over here in the U.S., but they create different substances, right? So Moldavite was like the combination of things hitting the earth from like this specific yeah. meteor. But we have like, we have all kinds of things. I don't really get too gung-ho, like, oh my God, it's from space, like alien energy right like I don't get too gung-ho that because I had like this super (laughs) big breakthrough one time like this crushing of reality where I realized that everyone's like so crazy about space stuff they're like oh my god this is from space I need it and then like but we're we are from space right we we are literally on a ball that's in space like like we we have life on us so like I think that earth is like way way stronger than like anything that you could probably get from outer space because we're the thing growing stuff right you know like and I think that we we always want to put like our magic and our power outside of us and that's like a really good example of that because we're like oh my god space is so powerful like it is space is cool space has a lot of like mathematical things going on that we can't wrap our brains around but earth is fucking awesome yeah because we're we're here like when you think about it like we're we're like worried about jobs and money but we made that shit up like we're literally on a ball in space (laughs) like like we're not exploding that's that's crazy 
<laughs> we made it up. It's so sad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we made up problems like we do, right? We made, we had, we were, we were like people, we're living, we're like, oh, this is so nice. We're at peace. We need problems. Let's make money. <laughs> make money. Let's give Let's everyone shit to worry about. Take it away. We'll yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's like it's laughable what we've done as humans like it's really laughable when you think about it because you're like what 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 are we doing what why 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 did we do this this is dumb i'm gonna charge you this thing that comes from trees and wool um for this thing this other thing that also comes from earth Right. And you're going to work really hard for it. And I'm only going to give you like a really small portion. And then I'm going to like make everything cost a lot of this wool. Yeah. Stuff. Marilyn has a rain tax. We have to pay when it rains. Me too. You too? You have a rain tax? A rain tax. Yeah. yeah. So it's when, when weather happens. Management. <laughs> yeah. Management. And then my street floods and I was all, are you going to manage this storm that we paid for? <laughs> <laughs> working <laughs> it's so why do we do this this is so dumb <laughs> this is so dumb right existence just like blows my mind sometimes it really does <laughs> no. like if you if you want an existential crisis listen to our podcast because you're gonna be like why why are we <laughs> why are we doing that <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious right so, so yeah, so like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say now. I'm gone. So I know. I know. I'm over here like playing this thought through my head. Wait a minute. We invented rain tax. <laughs> it's, like, a lot. Like, it's a lot. I pay $40 a month for <laughs> my rain tax. We took a wrong turn somewhere in the evolutionary <laughs> line and we just <laughs> fucking got stupid. <laughs> like, you ever seen that movie idiocracy because i swear i quote this movie like a bunch of times a day and it's like it's like about the world in like three thousand years and the whole planet is just garbage like it's, it's literally a trash rock <laughs> and they're trying that like people got so dumb there was a wrestler that was president which i think is hilarious now because this was yeah. 10 years ago and um and um they were trying to they they couldn't get plants to grow because they were trying to feed it gatorade (laughs) (laughs) and this guy was like from the past like he was like chrono frozen or whatever and he wakes up there and he just wants some water and everyone keeps going like in the toilet (laughs) (laughs) crazy it's so crazy and I feel like that, like, sometimes I look at our choices and I'm like, that's really where we're headed. That's like, that's, that's really where it's going. Yep. Oh my God. I love, I love Mondays. This is fun. <laughs> I needed this. I needed this laugh today. Oh No, I have a pain right here in my forehead now because I'm like, wait a minute, I'm paying $40. <laughs> it doesn't even rain that much. <laughs> It could be worse. You could pay rain tax in Florida. That would be problematic. Oh, man. <laughs> if they charge us per times it rain, maybe, but $40 a month, that's $10 a week. $10 a week. That's crazy. Because it's raining. And they don't even manage the storm because our streets flood because they don't clean out our drains because our infrastructure is so old. Oh my God. I was at this, I was at my second job yesterday when I went in, um, one of the other bartenders, his, his people, his customers, they used a gift card and they wanted him to run their credit card for like a penny so they could tip. Right. Oh, okay. So, yeah. he, so he runs their credit card for a penny and it taxed them a penny. No, hundred percent tax. <laughs> I know. He was like, what? So they paid two cents to tip. <laughs> Which, okay, it's not like two pence cents is bad, but it's the fact that it's like, it's a hundred percent. If it had, it had, I mean, where do they get off thinking they can charge a hundred percent? I don't know. I don't know. Let it be a penny or not. It was a food tax. 
We pay to eat. We pay to pay to pay to eat. Our food taxes on the East Coast for fast food is so high. Dude, New York's real bad. Yeah. We're going to be right up there with them. They're upping ours in July. Yeah. I think Maryland, Virginia, and New York are going to, they're like basically one thing at this point. They are basically one thing. They're all up each other's butts. What are they doing? Let's do it too. Yeah. We're all getting, we're all getting screwed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. With their fake ideology. (laughs) Now we just go along with it. Yeah. Dude, I I love this podcast. This is like, I think this is like my favorite one. Let's just make fun of thoughts because they're all stupid. No, I'm not judging. I'm spiritual. I'm not judging, but like thoughts are ridiculous. Like (laughs) thoughts are really ridiculous. Like we literally. It is ridiculous. And then you get a, you can get a Moldavite or an Opal or Opalite and change your thoughts. my thoughts that's what happens that's really what happens that's like that's the key i think we figured it out because like what when 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 people have thoughts like let's really break this down right when people have thoughts and they act out of their thoughts that creates their reality when two people share thoughts or when person a shares their thoughts with person b and person b starts to have those thoughts then they are in that person A's reality. They, right. they now share a reality, right? So that's how this happens with like, like, you know, just everything. Like you can think about it, like religion, like you're sharing thoughts, you're sharing a reality, like all these little subcategories of people, like you think the same thoughts, you believe the same thoughts, then you share the reality. Right. So whatever, whoever's reality you've been pulled into, where the thoughts were not originally yours, those, the, the crystals, their vibration pulls you back in to either your reality or the crystals reality. We don't know, like, but it changes your thoughts. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you, you wake up, like you've just existed in some weird fucking coma and you're like, <laughs> oh my god this reality is is wrong this is now where i need to be like that's what that's basically what what has happened to me several times where like i've gotten you know opalite or opal or moldavite and i fucking wake up one day and i'm like what the fuck have i done for 12 years this isn't mine where am i <laughs> this where am i this is not my this is not where i wanted to be this is weird i don't like it and then i leave it Right. Yeah, I ordered um, a bunch of crystals for the jewelry for our site, and um, I ordered, and they gave me a whole bag of fire opal. I love and it's so pretty, though. It is so pretty, but I have been wanting a new kitchen for two years, and now I'm getting a whole brand new kitchen by force. But yeah, yeah. And every time that we start working on a wall, something is wrong with it. And we need to replace the wall. Like I am getting floor to ceiling, brand new kitchen. So, but it, but you're get, so like, that's a really good example of something that can happen too, because like we've, we've talked about this since your kitchen demo started going and the things that we wanted, they, they're very draining things sometimes Mm -hmm. like renovating a kitchen is very draining and it's very time consuming. And you're basically relying on several different contractors on their time. And it's so expensive. And it's so expensive. And it's just like, so even though there are some things that we wanted, we just didn't take action on it because we simply just didn't fucking feel like dealing with it. Right. Like there's just a lot of shit that we probably wouldn't have subjected ourselves to willingly even though the final result would be awesome right I said so, I told you I would die with that old kitchen yeah it was, it was so, ridiculous it didn't even make sense you couldn't use it the house is old the kitchen was original to the house so it's 100 years old the cabinets were yeah you peeled off layers of floors oh like l- multiple layers of floors it's, it's oh. been a nightmare yeah so but but the the crystals like opal or moldavite like those crystals they they can make that happen 
because you were in resistance to it happening and a part of you knew that it needed to happen. Yeah, well, it does need to happen. My house couldn't sell on the market as it was. Like, we got an amazing deal on it because the kitchen wasn't done. Right. And, and, and it was the last thing you did. The last thing that I did. Yeah. So it needed to be done for A, resale value. B, it needed to be done because I got to the point where I wasn't cooking anymore. I told Brian, I hate this house. I hate cooking. And I'm not going in there because it makes me so mad. Your kitchen was the biggest irritant in you since we've it met. Really was. It was the biggest irritant in my life at this point because I can't, I do like to cook and I do like to provide nice meals for my family. And I like to spend time in my kitchen, not that kitchen, not that kitchen. So it, it has caused me a lot of stress in my life. And yeah. I was going to die with it because I know how stressing the renovation was going to be. And then we ended up with a massive water leak that never made itself known. It just went under one of the subfloors and raised the subfloor up and rotted everything up and below it. So you had to gut the whole thing. You had to gut the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I mean, and that's, that's a really good example of shit that can happen with these crystals. So like, you can see why with that situation, someone might be like, why are all these bad things happen to me? But it's really like what fucking needed to happen. Right. Like that needed to happen. Like you might have an opportunity in a couple years to sell your house where you can have like an awesome, amazing dream life. And if your kitchen wasn't done, that would, it right. would not work. So and like it's preparing you. It, even now, even if we don't sell, it puts me back into alignment with my life and what I enjoy doing. And right. So you know, and you're better. like someone who like cooks for meditative purposes. Like it's yeah. Nice. And I mean, I, I like to make. I like. I was raised Mormon. I like food storage, so I like to make jam and make all the jam and can yeah. for the whole year. Yeah, so. and you do hand make a lot of shit. Yeah, and I couldn't do it in the current kitchen. We, I have not canned since we bought the house because I can't. There's no space in there. And now I'm getting all that space. Yeah. My life yeah. is getting put back in alignment with my soul's purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's really fucking awesome, but the process isn't supposed to be, like, pretty. Because when we're holding on to shit, we automatically make the process not pretty. Right. Because we hate it. We're already in resistance to the process, right? We fucking hate it. So when it starts happening, we're like, oh, this sucks. Like, right. Well, it's not the first time I've had to like wash dishes in my shower. And now <laughs> what? I'm, I'm older Wait. now. And now I'm not like, oh, well, this is great. Now I'm like, <laughs> you might be one of very few people that can just like utter i want that on a coffee mug well this isn't the first time i've had to wash dishes in my shower <laughs> i know you know what's funny talk about manifesting me and brian's first date our first real day as adults mm -hmm. um because i met him when i was 14 so when i was 18 and we were legally dating um we had our first date and we were in the car and i drove him out to this old ranch that I knew was for sale. And it's this old ranch house that I had been vacant my whole life. And I told him that it was my dream to buy old houses and fix them up. I think I think that's impressive. And I, I also did have shut my mouth. <laughs> I also think it's really impressive that like me and you were talking for like months and months about like our dream house. Like because I'm in I'm, I'm trying to like buy a home right at this point. And we've been talking for months and months about our dream house. And the fucking hilarious thing was when you found a picture from your vision board and realized you were in the house. <laughs> you were funny. like, I'm literally living in my dream house. What am I doing? <laughs> I, mean, I was so sad when I found that picture. I'm in my bed in my house. And I find this picture of this house that was on my phone as my dream house, like my ultimate dream house. And I showed Brian and I was like, look, this was my dream house. And we sat there for a while and he was like, wow, that is a neat house. And we're both looking at this house thinking how cool this house is. And then I'm like, wait a minute, look at the house. I go, that's our house. <laughs> exactly. Literally the exact same architecture and everything. <laughs> I bet you it was the same designer. <laughs> it probably was. I was like, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was sad for like 15 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. <Duh. laughs> 
there's been so many cases of that though like i've heard stories um like online of people that like make a vision board and then they and it's the house they end up in that house yeah like, it's you know vision board. i'm i'm pro vision board like i i am i love vision boards and i don't hide mine away and go back and look at them you know a year later i put mine out where i can see it I had this plan that I really wanted to go kayaking. And I found this beautiful picture of these people kayaking down this river with all these trees. I cut it out and stuck it on my vision board. That river is the exact same river that we took our haunted camping trip on. Oh my God. I from a Virginia magazine. Wow. <laughs> and I just wanted to go kayaking with my family. We hadn't been in a year. You didn't even pick the place, I don't think. I didn't. My daughter picked it. Yeah, that's wild. Yep. That's so funny how that shit happens, man. Yeah. I I love I love it. I both love it and think it's dumb. Like I think <laughs> I just it blows my mind that it works, you know? Because it's like when you think about it in the terms of energy and energetic attraction and matching vibrations, then it all fucking makes sense. But like it's still wild. It's still wild to experience it. I put on my vision board this picture of this witch shop. Two yeah. days before you're like, let's start a website. Let's put it on the, let's start a <laughs> shop. Cause I was like, I really want a witch shop. And I don't know how I'm going to get Cassandra to be like, yeah, let's do a witchy shop. I didn't even know how that fit into our business. I had no clue. All I knew is that I wanted a witch shop. And yeah. this has candles and herbs and all this fun stuff. And she's like, I want to use my hands. I want to make stuff. And I was like, bam, next thing you know, we have a witch shop in like less than four days of putting that on my vision board. That's almost like, it's almost like to like what came first, the chicken or the egg? Because like, did your thought influence my feelings or did my feelings influence your thought? Like, what, like we don't know what came first because <laughs> we don't we know. feel energetically connected to the people that we talk to. Like how many times Nicole's been super energetically connected to us because she's been saying shit that we talk about or think or feel. And she'll just like, be like, I'm feeling this. And I'm like, join the club. Like, <laughs> yeah yeah like it's and I mean that's why cord cutting is a real thing too because you can be you can be influenced by the people that you're energetically connected to and you feel like your thoughts and feelings are your own that's what it feels like right. but really it's like like me and you like you'll feel my thoughts or my anxiety or you know like and it's like why am I having anxiety? And then I'll tell you like this massive problem that happened to me. And you'll be like, that's why I'm having anxiety. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. and that happens. And that's why you hear people like the term empath, like, but empaths, like when you're undeveloped, right? Like you feel it the most when you walk into a room and you know that there's no sound reason for you to be anxious, but the way the brain works with thoughts, and this is why thoughts are so stupid to me, <laughs> like, but the way the brain works with thoughts is that when you feel something and you have no explanation for it, your brain will start looking for justification on why you feel it, right? So like if spring has anxiety and I wake up with anxiety, I'll start looking for reasons to be anxious. Yep. I'll be like, I'm probably anxious because of this or because of this or because my house is a mess. Like, but really it's not, it wasn't mine. And we can do that without even walking into the room, just being energetically connected to our people. Yeah. Um, that's another thing that crystals help with. There are, there are protection crystals like tourmaline, um, I swear by hematite because that's something right. before I ever did any spiritual work I noticed that hematite was a real thing because I used to buy those rings and they're like a dollar and they break easily so I'd buy like a bunch of them right like right. I would just buy a fucking bunch of them because they break easily but um I used to wear them when I worked in the strip club because the strip club had a lot of anxiety like there's people in there that desperately need money that have to make money or blah 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 like there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of anxiety in that environment there's a lot of feelings from the men that come into that environment and I started wearing hematite rings and I noticed that when I wore the rings I felt better so I swore by that shit forever like I still I don't wear them on my fingers anymore because I got fat but I <laughs> wear them on a necklace 
like when I go, like if I go anywhere, I put my ring on a necklace. My hematite ring is gone. Now that you're saying that, I was like, wait, where did mine go? <laughs> it's gone. I don't know. I, you can get a bag of them from Amazon, like a whole bag for 10 bucks, and they come in all the sizes. Mine are gone. That's weird. Yeah. I used to wear them on my thumb. It makes me so happy when I see people wearing the hematite rings because I'm like, it helps. It really does help. They really do. Up. They really, really do help. And you know what's funny is um, my son, he has, he's really into the beads. And so I buy him tiger eye, tiger eye beads. Yeah. And um, every time that he wears them, well, he's a contractor. So he ends up getting them broken a lot because they're just on elastic. So it'll grab his wrist. The beads will fly everywhere. And every time he breaks a bracelet, he ends up needing money. But if he wears <laughs> the bracelet, he ends up really well off and he's, he's fine and he has plenty of money. And so the other day he called and he's like, oh, I was going to come see you, but I got called into work. And so it's all overtime. I mean, the kid's like 25 years, tw- not even 25 yet. And he makes over 50,000 a year. But yet he lost his beads one day in a, in a wall they were building and it caught his end of <laughs> Now he's like, and then he ended up like having to borrow money to make his truck payment. It oh was so God. funny. And he's like, well, I hope that that wall makes a lot of money. <laughs> because, so he had to get, I saw him the other day and he had to get more beads. And then he, now he's working overtime again. So. Oh my God. He's like dedicated to it. <laughs> It's funny. It's funny how like so many people's journeys start with crystals and you start to realize like this shit is real. Yeah. Like well, Emily, he has the Opal Eye elephant too. <laughs> dude, I didn't even notice at first. Like I knew what Opal did and that's why I got it. But like typically what I'll do is I'll see a crystal. I'll know what it does. I'll read it. Then I'll forget what it does because I have so many crystals right. and I just like go to what I'm drawn to. And like, I didn't even notice it at first until I like, something made me look back and be like, oh my God, that's when I got that opal or that's when I started carrying that opal. And then I, it, I, my brain will put it together and be like, shit, like all that happened, like right after I did that. And that's what happened with the Moldavite too. Like when I got that Moldavite ring and I looked back and I was like, damn, I like took so many life-changing actions and woke up from like what feels like a coma when I got that ring. Mm-hmm yeah and then this time with moldavite i'm on day three and i'm already like i feel so much better damn i feel so much better why do we regress that's dumb we do though people (laughs) regress like we were talking in one of our groups of one of our first courses because we 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 kept all of our chats open from all of our courses and yeah we're friends we talk to everyone (laughs) from the first course a lot of them are starting to regress and it's like we do it we do it me we, we all do it we, we it's do not it. like it's not unheard of like everyone does it like when they stop it's like it's like when you when you're not going forwards you're going backwards and you yeah. can't help it you're never just staying the same no and I don't know why we do it like so you know you sit there and be like when was the last time you meditated and you're like darn it I don't know why why did I stop yeah and it's like and you always get asked this question when you're like damn I'm going backwards why am I doing this and they're like well when did you meditate and you're like well maybe that's why <laughs> like <laughs> like what, when you stop the daily practices when you feel and the human brain just does this when you think about people on medication too like people who have to take medication they want to stop when they're feeling better like right. they think the problem's gone and the problem's not gone you just stop taking the medication and then you go back to the problem to living in the problem right and it's kind of the same way like the daily practices are the medication like that's what's making us better that's what's healing us that's what's keeping us going forward in growth and then we stop that and then we're we just all of a sudden we're like falling <laughs> right but the human brain it takes so many years for change to be permanent so many years i forget what it is you should know this what is it uh, seven, nine ten 16? 21 it takes 21 days to form a habit but it takes seven years to make something permanent yeah years it's a it lot permanent. So you can form a habit and then you can break a habit. Yep. But like for the change to be permanent, for your brain to just start thinking in those patterns just organically, 
seven years. That's seven years of practices. Yeah. We're like two years in. But like, how many times have you way. stopped meditating? What? There's been a lot of times throughout these two years that we have like realized, oh my gosh. Fell off. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard. Just things get busy. We, it's just what we, it's human nature. Yeah. The first thing, the first thing that you let go of when you are stressed or something is your self-care. It's yeah. The first thing you'll That's self-care. true. <laughs> That's true. And for us, the self-care is all of this stuff. It really is. I mean, and you can't pour from an empty cup. So it's so important to take care of yourself. We need to find another thing to let go when we're stressed out. Like, what can we let go that's not like our nutrition and our meditation and shit? Like, what what's the other thing? Because we can't let go of our kids. So. You can't let go of your kids, and your next option is to stop feeding the dogs. So that doesn't work. <laughs> so it's ourselves. Sorry, I'm upset right now, and I'm not feeding You're you. Not I love Joey because I have issues. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe it's best. Maybe it's best. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, the kids and the pets. <laughs> what the hell is up with like humanity? Like being human is balls. <laughs> it is <laughs> balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> the next quote from Cassandra's quotes. Being I have some good quotes, but right now humanity is bulls. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make merch for our podcast quotes now because this is getting goofy. Right. <laughs> Funny. If anyone wants a coffee mug that says humanity is bulls, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it. I collect mugs. I will gladly make it. <laughs> Put a nice pair of hairy testicles on it and like line art. It'll be cute. What? Oh gosh, I can say testicles. I can't say testicles, no, but I can. can. I was laughing. I I love this idea. Like I I want to make this right. Okay, I'm writing it down. Human. I want the balls. With the- <laughs> it is balls. Can I spell it like with a W? It's got to be spelled with a W. It does. You have to say it like you say it with your accent. Yeah. And then I'll just put like some hairy nuts on there. It'll be cool. Shoot, that's funny. <laughs> I might reactivate our printable account. We might have hairy bowls. I want to. I think we should reactivate it and just put our quotes and stuff. Like Natalie and I were talking about that because she she's got a bunch of my quotes saved, the really inspirational ones. But I think that we should just make shit like humanity is balls. I think people can get on board with that. Yep. that's gonna happen this is this is happening (laughs) (laughs) all right well in conclusion i will put the link to the 30-day thing it starts april 1st um it's in a group chat there's an optional video call at the end of 30 days we're doing goal setting manifestation methods daily practices intention setting and nutrition and it's going to be a total spiritual cleanse that we are getting on board with to set that 21 days build a habit we can set that shit let's do that yeah we're doing it so i'm gonna put the link up to sign up if you'd like to sign up and the link to our community and when we get the humanity is balls mug we'll put that on there too yeah all right guys have a great week have a great week bye bye